Hi everybody, today's focus, I'm gonna try to disinfect my couch. Ah. A couple of weeks ago, I recorded a video where I tested various areas around my home just to see where bacteria is in and around my house. One of the areas that really shocked me was my couch. My couch had way more bacteria on it than I would have thought it had. So for this video, I'm gonna try to remove the bacteria that's on my couch. So I figured I'd use two things to try to remove the bacteria. So what I'm gonna do is take some Petri dishes and sterile swabs. I'm gonna swab some areas on my couch, probably the arm and the seat, place those on the Petri dishes. Then I'm going to clean using my Bissell Spot Clean Pro. And after it dries, sample again and put those on separate Petri dishes. Then I'm gonna spray my couch with Lysol and use their directions for disinfecting. And so for those, it says to disinfect soft surfaces, spray into wet, do not saturate, leave for 10 minutes to disinfect, air dry. So that's pretty easy. And then I will take some bacteria samples after it's all dried and we'll see how well that disinfects my couch. So let's see if the Bissell Spot Clean Pro in Lysol can disinfect my couch.
Before I get into the results, I do want to point out that the Bissell Spot Clean Pro does not claim to remove bacteria. It doesn't claim to be a disinfectant at all. I just wanted to test it out just to see how it would do. Now for some results. Let's start with the arm of the couch. I did two samples of before I did any cleaning to the couch and we can see that there's some bacteria there. We can see some big splots of bacteria, some smaller colonies, even yellow colonies, a whole bunch of tiny, tiny, tiny colonies on arm one, uh, sample one more than sample two, but a good sampling of bacteria for before we cleaned. Now let's look at the results after cleaning with the Bissell Spot Pro. Okay, not seeing much of a difference. To me, looking at dishes one and two, I'm not seeing much difference in bacterial growth between before cleaning with the Bissell and after. Now, the Bissell Spot Clean Pro does not claim to be a disinfectant, it just cleans, right? And I love my Bissell uh, Spot Clean Pro. It gets a ton of dirt out. You saw um, in the video, like all that dirt and grime it collects. Absolutely love it. But looking at this sample, I don't think it is a good disinfectant. Now let's look at after I spray with Lysol and let it sit for 10 minutes. So there is a decrease in bacteria after cleaning with the Lysol, but to me it's not a large amount. I really wouldn't consider this to be a significant decrease from going from the Bissell Pro to the Lysol. So I'm not too impressed with those results of the arm. Let's move on to the seat. Of the couch. If you like seeing petri dish results, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So first let's look at before doing any cleaning and again we have lots of bacteria in those petri dishes. You can see seat one again has a lot of tinier smaller bacterial colonies and two has some larger ones. So that's great. Now let's look at after using the Bissell Spot Clean Pro. I barely see a difference between before and after cleaning. So I'm going to say again, the Bissell did not remove any significant amount of bacteria. And let's look at after I sprayed with Lysol. Again, there might be a slight decrease in bacteria, but it's really not that significant. So again, it doesn't look like the Bissell Spot Clean Pro and then Lysol does a good job at all at disinfecting my couch. So let's move on to the rug. Let's take a look at the bathroom rug. So here we have the sample before we did any cleaning. And again, this is a great sample of bacteria for both the first and the second samples that I did. This is great. Lots of bacteria there, so we have a lot to compare here. Let's look at after cleaning with the Bissell Spot Clean Pro. Okay, so we definitely see a decrease. There is a decrease. It's a little more obvious in this one than the other ones. It's not hugely significant. It's not something that I would rely on for disinfecting, but we do see a decrease. Let's look at after Lysol. Ah, not much of a decrease going from after the Bissell Spa Clean Pro till after spraying with Lysol. So going into this, I knew my couch had bacteria on it from the previous tests I had done with bacteria around my home. Also, I do know that the Bissell Spot Clean Pro does not claim to remove bacteria. But the Lysol, I really thought the Lysol would have done way better at removing bacteria on my couch. Now, it might just be that soft fabric surfaces are harder to disinfect. It's very possible. But these results, I'm not very happy with. So what are we going to do with these results? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to put in the comment section what you use when you feel that you are disinfecting your fabric couch. I'm going to keep testing different things until I figure out what does decrease the bacteria in a significant amount. I think maybe trying out rubbing alcohol or even the Bissell Steam Shot might be two things that I'm going to try. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to try either of those. 
So basically what I've learned from this is that it's more difficult to disinfect a fabric than I thought. I honestly thought I was going to use my Bissell Spot Clean Pro and poof, everything would be gone, it would be great. And I was like, ah, I'll just test the Lysol too, just in case there's some leftover residual. But that didn't work either. So, and I guess another thing it could have been, maybe I didn't spray enough Lysol on. It said to spray until it was wet, but not saturated. And I feel that's exactly what I did. So I'm not exactly happy with these results, but hey, this is part of science, right? Sometimes experiments just don't go the way you think they will. So we'll keep trying different things until I can figure out what disinfects my fabric couch. So if there is a cleaner that you would like me to test out, put in the comment section. I will do my absolute best to get to it. I absolutely love conducting these bacteria tests and I hope you enjoy seeing the results. So stay tuned. Um, in the next coming weeks, I'll try to get some more results out there of how to clean a fabric couch. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.